Welcome into Valkyrie Connect, everybody. Hope you're having a good time playing the game. We're gonna start off with some pulls, some spicy free pulls. One left on 442. This wouldn't make it, not with my luck. Wait, where are my tickets at? Yeah, there are my tickets. All right, let's get the tickets first. Yeah, we'll just wait. Seriously? Seriously, you got it, man? Let's pull early, because why not? Nope, we'll, we'll get one. I actually don't mind this raffle because you get the two discount 10 X's per day, which is pretty nice. And once you get a coin, you can pick any of the four jubilants here. I personally think Sinia has one of the strongest kits of the four available, but that's just me. All ally boon is very valuable and all of her hits ignore barriers with lost field. The other three, I mean, have their own little niche, but I think Sinia has the most versatile kit. That's in my opinion. Moving on to the premium Jubilant Party banner. Um, this banner is kind of strange. The rates are just not good. I mean, if you really want these new Jubilants, go for it because you can see a guaranteed new one on step 15, but you're probably not going to be seeing them along the way. Even then, you're three times as likely to see one of the four that are not as good. I mean, I have Frey and Sh I remember using her for like EX Vidolfnir 2 and that's about it. Jubilant Raspy is still pretty niche. I'm sure the other two have their niche as well. There are 13 Vindicators at a 0.005%. I mean, those are just so rare. I think I've seen one 0.001% on my account's life over six years. It's just how rare it is. I mean, Jubilant Frig is pretty much just a dark range Frig. She works pretty much the same. Does all ally attack buff plus other buffs now to be current with the meta, skill gauge and damage boosting, and then an all enemy huge hit that ignores everything with shreds. She's got Lost Field and Absolute Energy 3, so Frig is at least going to be usable in PvP. The Esquire, she does a lot. She does 5cc to Airborne, that's pretty good, but she kind of seems more PvE with the Earth Ring all stats. Skill Gauge Conversion Barrier is good. She's got Lost Field and then Absolute Depravity 3, so honestly a little bit weaker passives than the Frig in my opinion. Man, Asterism Banner is crazy right now, bringing Scorpio and Libra back, and they gave them both their own specialty gears in the Interstice Crystal Trader. If for some reason you hadn't seen these yet, let me be the first to show you. I mean, Scorpio's is absolutely ridiculous. Three allies, Skill Gauge, Frenzy, Dark Ring. Two different hits that ignore everything and apply Shadow Bound and Dark Element resist down. This gear is pretty insane. The Libra gear is not slacking either. The self boon is usable. The all ally master is the big takeaway here with a quick two turn master one turn. Plus this other supporting ones. All enemy stone chain. You can hit automata with that. This one also has an earth element down and skill gauge down, so with a triple hit instead, but it doesn't ignore everything like Scorpios. Me personally, I'm at the point in my account where I am like eight souls away from my four star lift and I'm thinking about taking a break from pushing the souls and buying one copy of this and then using knives to four star it because it seems like just such a high value gear to not have a four star copy of. By the time this event's over, I can get the 20 I need. A lot of these buffs are already in her kit, but being able to have such strong buffs to 60% of a team on a equipment will always just help out more, I think, because you can boon all these if for some reason they're not able to be applied from action skills. The hits are really good too. A nice 10 time all enemy that ignores everything and then strong follow-ups with a stop as well for automata and stuff like that. But anyway, if you're kind of at that decision point as well, if you're wondering if you should ever buy something that that isn't just more lift souls from the shop. I think where I'm at, it's worth it. It only puts me like three soul purchases behind, so I'd rather still be eight souls from four star lift and have one of her SPs at a four star than just be three souls ahead. But anyway, final notes about the Asterism banner before moving on is it's this, still the same old shtick at 0.08% and you don't see a guaranteed and still step 30, but you will see Libra or Scorpio on step 30. Thrilling Summon, this eye tree seems really strong. She's already ranked in some Heroic Wanderer. She'd probably make my creamy clear a lot more consistent if I had her. If you're free to play, good luck pushing 12.5k, but you could guarantee her for that amount and all ally solidarity. Sure shot resolute with heaven's gift to everyone excluding self. This is not this is a really strong kit, it's nothing to scoff at. And it has three hits that ignore everything, shreds, CCs, and a nice solidarity element shred. I tree has high gravity and orbital trinity three as well to grounded amp. All allies significant odds is a big deal too. I think she may be only the second or third unit in the game that has all ally significant odds. Elemental chain, a shred on top of that with all ally solidarity to begin with and then the pulverize doesn't do any good in pvp but let's get the free once per day summon this one's got a bunch of scions on it and which all got buffed by the way we'll have to go over that now as well so we have buffs to jord and all the scions if you come through she has a new passive that you got to get right here she's got crown master all 30 percent pretty good she's still pretty usable now all right so scions are the big deal so all the original seven scions have a new passive not any of the other fancy ones but 
They have a seven deadly sins passive, three random enemy, corrupt brand, fear, three random ally, quick frenzy, stone skin, sure shot. Self fleet foot. The two that already have a second awakening, Cortana and Mog, got an additional passive. So Cortana got Phantom's Blessing, the buff swipe, frenzy, and attack. Five turns is good because you can easily boon that and keep it up. And then they gave Mog 70% SAR to herself. But at least it's still the best SAR in the game. She doesn't have to get left behind there. So all seven Scions have this passive now. So their usability is a little bit more in certain things now. An event we got to go over is the Cherry Blossom Frenzy, where you do the Seven Sins trial and you'll get this hero. And I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but if it's Norwegian, it's Shof. And if it's Icelandic, it's Shofen. I don't know. Take your pick, Shofen. You're going to be S. John to me. Love God, S. John. Your face is a little bit intimidating, but I mean, overall, you're pretty cute, I guess. She seems like she's yonder, eh? Like, bad things are gonna happen. Premium covered it. Once per day free covered it. All right, here's the other event I wanted to go over. The Seven Scion. Seven Sin... The Seven Sin Scion. Say that seven times fast. No, thank you. All these only last one day, though, so you do have to be on it to get it. It looks like there will be a period at the end where all of them are available. But for now, they only have one per day for a little bit until the 27th when they're all available. There's not much to it. Just come in here, set up a team, smack it down. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, done. All right, yay. All right, once you wrap it up, then you'll come in here and you'll get your Sjofen souls. If you can clear on eight star, then you can five star by the end of it, but you have to clear nine star if you want those extra 80. She won't have a hero quest during this event, so you can only get souls from this. Let's check out her kit real quick, at least. Self buff, swipe, frenzy, stone skin, sar, all ally. Reflection Barrier, Stat Debuff, Nullify, Berserk, Quick Fire, Counter Attack. And then she does have a nice Quinn hit, but it doesn't ignore anything. So all enemy shreds and then a Quinn hit. It's not bad, but you know, she does resist loss and give some regain with cross holders pretty good too. Reflect Grand, not really that all big of a deal. Magic Grounded Acer that does some fire damage. So otherwise it's a, just a free unit, probably usable for some stuff. If you pull Genis from the banner, that's pretty good. I think Genis is actually really strong. She's probably one of the better banner secondary heroes to pull. She gives Master Earth Ring all stats to three ally. And then she has a quad hit that ignores barriers. She's no slouch. She's like an Earth Denavia. She's like a thunder cannon. Then after all the damage, she gives all allies agitation, water, earth rest, Resonance, Therian Amp, and damage up to water. So her kit's kind of bonkers. I'm really glad to pull her. Self Lost, Brave Heart, Leaf Mixture to get those amp coverages. She covers four types between race, element, and altitude. She covers Therian, Beast, Earth, and Airborne. That's crazy in one kit. She's such a strong hero. <laughs> I've already seen her used very well in Heroic Wanderer, Grace, and Nordicia as well. Very good pickup. Now, I normally don't cover shop stuff too much, but there are some cool things going on with the shop. They have a new weekly pack that gives a nice stamina chunk. And if you are a subscription kind of guy, then this premium pass just got another update. They're doing the tickets where you get to select the pieces that you want, which is way better than going through whichever random piece they think to put in the ticket. And there's now also a trader for it. There's a premium pass trader. So throughout each pass on a two week cycle, they offer 10 coins per pass. So you're looking at 10 coins per pass, 10 coins per two weeks. The rewards here are a featured hero with scions and a bunch of mid stuff. The lucky hero voucher for 120, which is expensive, but it does have stuff like Red Panda Girl Ailu and Tiger God Kitora on it. And then the feature gear voucher, which I would consider to be the primary loot to get from here, which is a, another voucher of your choice, which, I mean, there's such strong gears to choose from here. I think Transcendent Lance is the standout gear. And uh, Flame Twister is also very strong as well with the silence. This whole trader is a brand new thing, so now you're getting rewarded for that pass if, if you are already getting it anyway. <laughs> there is a Hero Soul battle. I always miss these cycles because they're only like three day things, but I hope you came in here and got Porte and Braggy. Raggy is the counter for EX Fenrir, and she's the only one that works on Fenrir 2 because Guang Mei gets CC'd by Vortex on Fenrir 2. This is a free gold Braggy. I hope everybody took advantage of this. That's such a huge deal, getting a gold EX counter unit for free from this. So good. Porte is not as exciting. She's like just not cool enough to get excited about getting for free, but at least having her is still okay. I mean, and if it comes down to it, it's 330 diamonds, right? Just don't ever miss Hero Soul Battle when you can because you get the farm for free. And now I've got 400 extra boost to get to gold four potentially whenever that time comes. 
if ever needed. And Braggy is the same way, gold with 400 extra boost to go through gold frames. And that'd be even more if you have a second awakenable available from that, like Ipsum was, who has frames and a second awakening, which we've even more boost for that. I just wanted to shout out to the community that beginning on April 8th, they started this hero design contest. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. I really encourage everybody in the community who's an artist or wants to be an artist, if you like the art, just practice drawing it. It would be great if Valkyrie could have a broader art community and more people looking at Valkyrie art because the art is one of the core pillars of a game that really seals the relationship with the player. All right, final notes in this Valkyrie update. We have our sixth Heroic Wander area for the Yotun Utgard here. Humir, Giryad, and Kari. At time of recording, we got 16 clears on it. Plagon, H. Axel, Taku, Relia, Timo, Shaynor, Slay, Diablo. That name, Blazer, 189, Taco, Max, Rogi, Seb, Silphus, and Diamond Dust. Of course, you know, DD's gonna have it cleared. That guy's insane. As for me, you know, a regular drop in the barrel kind of guy, you know, an average player. I'm just now trying to get my creamy on auto so I can get these clears really cranking. I did some last night and redid all the teams. By the way, in the Heroic Wander section, once you get the clear, you see a different set of ranking and I'm trying to compile all these resources and I'll have them all available. I got the creamy screenshots done, but it's really nice to see the extended usage on this stuff help team build. Uh, this is my Reveria team. It's changed a little bit over time, but since I don't need to bring Vindicator Senna to Creamy anymore, I'm bringing her here in this auto super quick. My Grace, I've been messing around with my fifth. I'm trying out Nos for fun. Usually my clear is with Elm. This one autos pretty regularly. I don't have to worry about this one too much anymore. But here is my spicy creamy clear that I just got yesterday. Four dark. Tholan does half the damage of the fight. I used to have V-Cinna, Jubler Amelia, Rimuru, and Mikasa for my other clear, but I can't repeat it anymore. This is annoying. But now with Hell's APOC burst, I'm able to line up everyone's dark action skills to do so much more damage. But after the 50 clears of Nordicia are done, I don't know which one I want to move on to. Probably Acer, but I don't have much usage for that, so maybe another one instead. Only a week left on Heroic Wander, so get to it if you're able to do it. And don't forget to exchange all your rewards for the old anniversary trader. All right, everyone, that's it for me today. Gear videos on the way. PvP tier list videos on the way. Desired QOL and improvements videos on the way. Got a lot of Valkyrie stuff coming. I'm really proud of the AFK video that I posted as well. I also got approved as a content creator for the AFK Journey team, but I need to follow through with that. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you vibe, and until next time, foots out. Cheers.